noodles, noodles. <laughs> so from the last video, I was getting sick and I actually was really sick. And you're feeling better. And I'm feeling better. And this is what I wanted today. I was just gonna have noodles and then this one over here said, let's just make let's a noodle bok bok. And I'm like, okay. So, ouch, mine's still pretty hot. Okay, so this is what I have. This is what I normally, um, this is my favorite noodle, the Samyang stew type. I have enoki mushroom in there. I got eggs in there. I even have octopus in there. Um, green onion, cheese, of course, extra spicy. And, and of then, course, mine <laughs> is the famous mm. black bean. Yes, he really likes the black bean noodle one. Mainly because it reminds me of winning. <laughs> it's like the winner's noodle. Oh my god, black bean noodle. Black bean noodle, it's the winner's noodle. That's what they put on the package now. I don't know oh. why. I saw it. Look, I can prove it. The winner's wow. noodle, that says. So this is a Korean black bean noodle. This is Sam Young one. And this is the one that I love. You guys always ask me which one is my favorite. That one. That's this, the one she always This has. one, this one. You gotta have the enoki mushroom in there and the egg, cheese. I wish we were at home. I would have put a sticker on here that said winner's <laughs> noodle. And you would have been like, oh my God. <laughs> oh man. I let it cool down a little bit because it is pretty hot in here. I just kind of want the taste yeah. of spicy noodle, you know? And no, I didn't bring this with me. They no, sell these at the grocery store. We bought them the other day. But, um, but yeah, mm. guys, being sick, like, sucks. Especially on vacation. Especially on vacation. It's weird because I rarely get sick, though, too. Especially, sorry, I should say especially on a workcation. Oh, okay. Like, because it's like, then you're still like, you're still like, uh, thinking about it, but. Yeah, but. At least what, you're better now. Thanks, but, to, but thanks think, to Tylenol daytime and true, nighttime. True, but I think that's your body telling you, hey, slow down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You think it make a break sometimes. Mm -hmm. mm. That black bean one is good. Mmm. Mmm. Cheese. Wow. I was gonna put cheese in here, but it doesn't really go. Then she said, "No, it doesn't really go." To me, cheese goes with everything. But <laughs> I can see it now. It's like mm, mozzarella and black bean. So I just had an extra pack. Mm -hmm. This is two packs. That's one with a bunch of extras. Mm -hmm. So mine's all stuck together now. Yeah. Because we kind of let it cool a little bit because you don't want to... It's too hot here to have like ugh, steaming hot. Oh, it tastes so good. <laughs> I feel like we're really far <laughs> in camera. But... That's a good looking noodle. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh. Whoa. Enoki mushroom in there. Um... I would, I would offer you this, but it's spicy. Mm. So no trying the enokis for me this time. Mm -mm. All right then, duly noted. Because I generally, she asked if I wanted enokis in mine, and I was like, no, because to me, they taste like nothing. Like I like mushrooms, but, and the ones at home in Canada are like really kind of stringy and. Mm -hmm. They get in the way with your chewing, but they make a good sound. Mm -hmm. It's weird. The one here is like soft but crunchy, but um, it's chewable, you know? Like it's, it's not as hard. Hmm. Like, I don't know, it's weird. Almost, almost like they're smaller. Hmm. So. Because you think they'd be the same freshness. They taste freshness. better. Hmm. Oh no. Hard to explain. And and they don't take as long to cook. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wow. Like you throw them in hot pot here. Only takes like literally like twenty seconds. Wow. <laughs> There's so many birds here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can probably hear the bird in the background. That's why. Oh, it's right there. Where? Oh, oh right there. Mm. Like oh. some sort of a pigeon. 
Well, well, well. That's my pigeon sound. <laughs> oh. Maybe she's like, I want to eat. She's sitting by the pool. And it's funny how I say she. Mm hmm. I was thinking that. <laughs> Mm. It's a good noodle, black bean. Mm -hmm. So should we discuss the undiscussable? Oh my God, yes. Are you sure? Because sure. you could always cut this out. <laughs> sure. We weren't, we weren't going to say anything because we were going to wait till we get home because we want to tell her cousin, May, who's been in, who did the one chip challenge. Yes, May. With her. May, if you hear this, stop the video. <laughs> Seriously, because, because she, we want to tell you in person. Yeah, she watches our video and. Yeah. Anyways, it's about. It's about well, our. Wait, wait, wait. First of all. Okay. Do you guys believe in ghosts or spirits or um, the. Uh, what do you, what's another word? Um, that unnatural, no, what is that? Unexplained phenomenon? Yes, there, that one. There you go. Because. Because, here it comes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'll let you tell it. Um, so when we were at our grandpa's house, uh, we experienced the phenomenon. Yes, we did. We. We. Not just me. No, not just me. Not just him. No. We. As we do a long pause. Yes. <laughs> you can start. Let me just eat this first. So, you're staying in a hotel. A small little hotel. It's like a bunch of little cabins, I guess would be the best way to do it. Right on the side of the highway by her grandpa's. And... There's, it's no smoking rooms, mm -hmm. so, but everyone smokes outside all the mm -hmm. time. People just sit on their porches and smoke. But we always, we were there for probably like what, a week, a good week at that hotel. Yeah. And we would always smell cigarettes. And it's just like, it's not the room because it would go away. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, what the heck? And this it's, is during the daytime? This is during the daytime and at nighttime and, and like nighttime. different random times. It would wake us up at night. It would wake us up at night but as if... But, like, waking me up separately, waking him up separately. The first four days, I had noticed it, but I didn't think anything of it. Right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, oh, whatever. Some drunks probably just smoking outside our room. And, or before they go to work. Or before or... they go to work. Like, this is like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, on the very last day... Because cause I didn't think anything of it, so I didn't even think of him. We had discussed it, that we, it smells like cigarettes. Why does this room smell like cigarettes? Mm -hmm. I, but where is it coming from? Like, yeah. Why does it smell like cigarettes? I and never thought anything about it. And it's only in that one particular area. Tr yes. Where we sit. Yeah. On our bed. Yeah. It's a very small hotel. Yeah. Like, it's a room with a bathroom. Yes. Like, so imagine not. a square room like this. And on the, uh, one corner, say the back side of the corner, the air conditioning is on the top, right? So the air is blowing out this way. So imagine this room, the air is blowing out this way. Like this, like this. And for me personally, when I was sleeping, every time I would turn this corner this way, he's, he's on my left. Every time I would turn the corner this way, I'm like, man, that's, that smell is really strong. Towards the door. Towards yeah. the door. So I turn this way. Oh, it's gone. Okay, I could fall asleep. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I would be asleep for, I don't know, I don't know, for say ten minutes. I would wake up again because the smell would be right here. I'm like, I'm like, what the heck? Like, turn my face up so I'm like, so I don't smell either this side because the air conditioning is blowing the wind out this way. So I'm like, okay, all I can smell is the air conditioning. So then that was like the day we're like gonna check out, like our last day, our last morning. We, I, it was like the worst sleep because I got woken up like probably four times that night by the smell. Me too. And then as soon as I woke up and I'm like, so how'd you sleep last night? He's like, oh, 
I was what? like, yeah. I was like, if you were awake, I would have went outside and yelled at that person who was smoking. Because it's like, they woke me up a couple times mm -hmm. smoking. Mm -hmm. Because I, it stinks like cigarettes. But she's sleeping, so obviously I'm not going to get up and go outside and try and find somebody who's smoking. But, and then, did we smell it in the morning again or something? We smelled it in the morning, mm -hmm. and then I opened the door, and I was looking around out there, and there was nobody, people, because you could park beside it. He, there was an ashtray out front, and I went out and looked, and I was like, there's nobody out there. I looked in the ashtray. There's butts in the ashtray, but they, and I smelled it, and, but they were old, because a fresh cigarette is disgustingly mm -hmm. strong. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the heck? And I go back inside, and I'm it looking. It smell. And I'm like, the air conditioning isn't like an air conditioning that gets air from the outside. It's a separate unit, yeah. and all it does is transfer gas in a little hose that's a sealed unit. It doesn't like suck air from the outside like ones that go in your window or anything like that. So I'm like, well, how can that be? There's no windows. The only thing is a little door. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, this is weird. Like, how would, unless somebody's standing outside and like blowing yeah. underneath the door or something. Yeah, there's no vents in the bathroom. No. There's only um, like um, fans that suck up air. Yeah. From the bathroom. And push it outside. And pushes it outside. But even, even then, like, I was like, that's weird. Yeah. I'm like, this is not, I'm like, I do not understand how it's like stinking. Maybe it's just the room. Then, she was getting ready to get in the shower, yes. in the bathroom. So I was in there already for a good two minutes. Yeah. And then I was sitting in bed on my computer. Yeah. And so you're in the shower. Yeah. And then I heard something and I was just like. Something clicked. Something clicked or something. I thought it was the fridge or something. And then all of a sudden. Like, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 seconds later, the water starts boiling in the kettle. And I'm like, I'm like, what the? I'm like, are you having another tea? Did you turn the kettle on before you went in the bathroom? No! <laughs> yeah, I freaked out because, because as soon as I heard the water boil, I thought to myself, oh, he's having another tea. That's odd, because usually we only have one tea in the morning. And yes, we drink tea. And, and and even if we had like a really, really bad sleep, we usually don't drink another tea until like, say, lunchtime or mm -hmm. one o'clock. So I was like, oh, that's weird. He's having another tea. So I was like, whatever, right? And then when he asked me, hey, are you having another tea? I'm like, uh, no. Did, I didn't touch the kettle. Like, I didn't touch the kettle. And mind you, the kettle, the button to push it on is like really on the handle like you got to push it you so, gotta push it yes. it's not like anything you flick up or flick down like you gotta push it and as we explained to every other person that we've told this story to here <laughs> kettles are not meant to turn on by themselves they have a safety switch in them where you have to press the switch they don't mm -hmm. just turn on because if it's, you leave it plugged in and it just turns on mm -hmm. it could burn down your house mm -hmm. so they're meant to be you need to flick the switch it's not just something that oh the candles they just randomly turn on and off all the time yeah it's fine now it's fine right so and after I'm, this happened we're like oh maybe like i don't know maybe the kettle there's something defective with the kettle like my thought because i didn't know that about a kettle like prior i was like oh something must be and then this is and then no. and then that's when we had the did we have the conversation before or after the kettle about like the potential like, oh, then we talked about the cigarette smoke more mm -hmm. because we're like, yeah, there's nowhere for it to get in. Like, yeah. that's another weird thing. Like, but the kettle was it because I got up, the light was on on the kettle, the water was boiling. I was like, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> but luckily, <laughs> no, because we talked about this before because like I've, I've prior to this, like I've had other experiences with like spirits and stuff being. Me like, too. And I'm out. <laughs> spirits like, um, you know, being around, whether it be scent or anything uh, so I am already a firm believer in that area yes so me too. yeah we 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 spoke like I'm a firm believer who does not like it before yes. we're like okay so if if we ever stay in somewhere or hotel whatever if we ever get haunted we're out of here out like of here. who cares about your stuff yeah just leave my go. stuff like we'll somebody come back. else can come get it yeah we'll come back and get it later like just just put your clothes on and just book it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, because I mean, I don't know. There, There's good spirits and bad spirits. 
is and I don't know. I don't want to know if it's a good spirit or a bad spirit because it's, by the time you find out it's a bad spirit, it's, it's too late. A little too late, yeah. Yeah, that's like so. No. Mm -hmm. So then we were like, okay, well we're out. So we got put all our stuff outside. Luckily, we were checking out that day, like in like half an hour. So we rushed to get ready and got out. Yeah. So asked the lady at the front desk because I was like, she didn't want to ask the lady at the front desk, but I was like. If you don't ask the lady at the front desk, I'm going to Google Translate it on my phone and go up and show her my phone because I want to see what she says. Mm. So, after some convincing, <laughs> she I, asked the lady at the front desk. Well, I didn't. I didn't ask. I just said. So last night we had some very strange thing. I said, "Has has anybody?" And so I told her. I was like, "So has anyone experienced anything, or have you heard anyone experience anything like this?" She's like, "You see her face, like." Yeah, not no. happy. <laughs> like, she was scared. Yeah. Um. Not happy. So we're not staying at that hotel again. So no matter what, we are not staying at that hotel again when we go back to your grandpa's area. No. No. I'm never staying there again. Yeah. No. So May, now you can turn the video back on. Because <laughs> May is like freaked out yeah. freaked out about ghosts like she i don't did, like ghosts she, i've seen ghosts in victoria i have like for sure seen ghosts she doesn't she she doesn't even want to sleep at our house alone because no like no know. it's too dark yeah. it's too quiet like it's too echoey mm -hmm. because of all the spaces we have right and it's in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. <laughs> on top of everything else yeah and i don't like ghosts but i'm not as freaked out as she is no. but i do not like ghosts no unless it's like somebody you know or something but saying goodbye or something but yeah i've never experienced anything like that i've only experienced but the thing scary is, freaking yeah. ghosts see i have but yeah we won't get into that we won't get into that no um so yeah. any ghost stories in the comment section please leave them below yeah because we would love to hear it share it with us oh it's so weird though like like and, it's, and you and, tell people and yeah. they don't believe you yeah they don't They're believe like, you yeah, right must have been something else We're maybe like, the kettle oh. was broken yeah are you no. sure are you sure yeah. that happened maybe this maybe it's like no when you're there you're yeah. just like the kettle turned <laughs> on it boiled and the light went on i heard it click like click like a finger went click and turned it on no obviously we left that kettle there because yeah. we went and bought and a kettle. And we bought that kettle too. Yeah, it's brand new. Brand new. Yeah. We're like whatever. Yeah. I don't want that one. No. My cousin took it. Your cousin <laughs> took it, yeah. I took a picture of it because I was like, I want to remember the ghost kettle. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow. Scary. And then, and then like um, my cousin and the lady in the front, right? She was like, well, maybe, maybe the spirit was thirsty, or maybe the the spirit wanted like coffee. I'm like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Make coffee for it? <laughs> yeah, what are you crazy, lady? And then she's like, she's like, oh, did you ask? Did you talk to it and, and ask for a lottery lottery number? I was like, no. <laughs> no, we packed, we left. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Oh man. Oh wow, you're done your noodles? Yeah, I'm done. I did like. I have like two bites left, but that was a lot of noodles. Yeah. Last bite then for me. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Scary. That cigarette smell, though. Anybody ever comes to Thailand and wants to stay in a haunted hotel? <laughs> let us know. We'll, let we'll, us know. We'll, we'll direct take you. you there. Yeah. No, we'll let you know which hotel it is. <laughs> yeah. And it was weird because the lady at the front desk said there's like one couple that really likes that room. Every yeah. time they come to the hotel... They, 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 they request they, that room we were in. That room. Yeah, Which I will never really forget odd. that room number. 317. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. But I'm sure it's the whole property. Mm -hmm. like, but I mean, the next room is the same room as that room. Yeah. Why would they want to say in that room? Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, weird. Maybe it's the number. I don't know. Maybe it's the number. Maybe they felt something weird. Maybe they liked it. I don't know. Maybe it is a nice ghost. Maybe it was nice to them. I didn't give it a chance. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> I didn't give it a chance to prove its niceness. Hmm. I packed up my suitcase and put it outside and tong. 
Left. Let's left. go. Let's go. <laughs> Man, this is exactly what I needed. I bet you after this, tomorrow, I'll be 100% better. <laughs> it's the spice that I need. It's the, the spice. spice. You eat spicy food, and you sweat it out, and you get better. It's my theory behind it. Maybe you guys heard the fire background. It's it's yeah. been going on quite a bit here. Maybe yeah. it's like leftover from New Year's. Oh or, yeah, maybe or leftover from Chinese New Year. Or leftover from Chinese yeah. New Year. We had some fireworks on New Year's too. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. I wish they sold those kind of firecracker or yeah, like firecrackers. Yeah, in yeah. Canada, it was so fun. It was so easy to buy too. Like you just go yeah. to yeah. And they're so cheap. <laughs> So cheap. So cheap. So cheap. Like, fireworks in Canada are hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Hundreds. Here it's like $40 and you get as much as you can carry. Like a, yeah, like a backpack. Was. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoy our ghost story. Um, anyways, um, let us know. Let us know in the comments if you have ever experienced anything like that before. Please do. Uh, yes. Yes. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.